This video is on a topic which, as of recently, I have become somewhat of an expert on. The subject matter is trusses, trusses, cords, webs, king posts, queen posts, you name it. Um, I have educated myself more than I wanted to ever want to know about trusses. Um, moral of the story is this. I have a brand new home that I purchased, I designed myself, um, I've taken possession, I've moved into this house and I've lived there for a year and since day one there's been something that's been driving me crazy and I'll show you what it is. Now this here is, now forgive me again I just moved into this home, um, this here is my, my entryway and my foyer. Now some of this mock-up is just some stuff that I just did really quick with paint Forgive me, it only took, I only took about 5-10 minutes to create this, so bear with me. Now my plans are, is over here I wanted to just simply make a window so that way I can draw some more light in from the study area, but that, that's not a big deal. That's just a couple of studs, like a whack them out, sheet rocket, no big deal. But this, this is what was keeping me up at night. I, I gotta tell you, this thing has made me neurotic for for days. I mean, I would keep myself up at night thinking about this. Now, I would go on the internet and I would research article after article, picture after picture, watch videos, which are far and few between for information for people like me, because I am a do-it-yourselfer. I'm a very avid woodworker. I'm very good with construction. I have every tool and almost all the knowledge. Um, and the only thing I really lack is time to do these kinds of things. But now that I've committed myself to doing this project, I figured I was going to go ahead, make basically a uh, tray ceiling to mirror this one over here to the side in my formal dining room, which I never use. I never use this. I don't even use it pretty much anything in this whole area of this house, for that matter of fact. But I think that it's important for my entryway to look the way I feel it should look in my in my own mind, so I can be happy with it. Now, the original plan did show this here is having a tray ceiling. Now of course when I had it built and my wife had this double tray put in, the builder for whatever reason said this was going to look weird, uh, let's not do that so we forewent it. Um, so now it is foregone and I'm left with just a flat ceiling over in this location. Now this does not jive with me. Every day I come home and I look at it, it drives me crazy. It drives me absolutely insane. I look at it almost every single day. So I was contemplating on just going ahead, doing the research, and handling this job on my own. But here's where some of the problems start to come in. Um, new home, new warranty. I have a house full of, of kids and pets, myself included, of course. Now, God forbid, what if something happens? What if, of course, I know the roof isn't going to fall down on me just by removing and cutting out a couple of trusses. However couple years down the road, maybe the door won't close right, this thing could start squeaking, you can get a roof sag, because what I want to do is I need to cut out two trusses. Basically I got one nine inches in about here, so just, that was my plan of where to start, because I've been up in this attic of course a few times, and then these are 24 inches on center, so one, two, and this would give me enough length so that way I can match the width of this door, which here is 67 inches. So my plan is to go up in here, move in about 9 inches, so I'm on the outer edge of the next ceiling joist or truss, which is located here, make my cut, open it up, 67 inches square, and I'm going to do a double tray. I know I didn't fill in this with paint. Like I said, it's just a quick thing. It's not that serious. But I want it to be 67 inches by 67 inches. I want to duplicate this double tray effect, but again, now I'm cutting out not one, but two trusses. So first off, the main problem is the builder will not give me my plans. Figure that, right? So in the county where I live, which is St. John's County in Florida, you can actually go and get the plans for $9 a page. With the revisions, my plans would have cost me over $180. Now if you go down to the um, the town, which is over here by me in St. Augustine, for $2.25, they will give you a CD with all of your plans, all the revisions, all the sign-offs, all the stamps, all the engineering detail, everything. So what you're looking at right here is the plan of my first floor of my home. Now, 
Let me just move up a little bit. Oops, a little too far. Now, this here is my covered porch, my entryway, and in here, this is the area where I'm concerned with. Now, this here is that first truss I was talking about, which is nine inches off of the, the front door entryway. Now, here, I want to go jute, 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 cut that sucker out, and that's where I want to install my double tray. But, of course, for me to do that, that requires me to have two trusses cut. Now, of course, getting back to what I was showing in the first photo, see if I can find it again. Um, this is not what I have. What I actually have is called a king stud or king post truss like this one over here like that kind of a deal now you can see up on my ridge I have this 2x4 which runs down down again to another 2x4 and I have these webs so me wanting to do what I want to do to do my tray I have to go up which I'm doing a double tray with two one foot steps sorry I'm gonna be wanting to go here up to around here across and down so basically that eliminates all the tension on this bottom cord which is gonna be a problem these have nothing to connect to this which when I look at it just looks god awful scary because that has nothing connecting it and supporting on the bottom end and I'm not just doing one I'm doing two that's double scary to me so this is where I started to just get like crazy I, I mean reading learning and then you, you see some articles and they say oh don't be a pussy just go ahead and whack it cut it out as long as you support it it'll be fine and you see other people like this dude oh my gosh this guy is like Oh, Greg Van. I've watched him on you on YouTube. I mean, every other word out of his mouth is "Don't cut the trust. Don't cut trusses. Never cut a trust. Don't do this. Don't do that." And it's like people like him that give you all this contradictory information, saying that it's just impossible. Don't do it. That just makes a person like me, which is an obsessive personality, a Type A personality, say what? Fuck that, because there is a way to do it. Because anything can be done. That's my my personal view on life and this construction product and any other thing that I ever do. So I know it can be done. I I know I want to do it and it's going to get done no matter what it is that I have to do and it doesn't require me cutting or ripping my roof off to do uh, a project. So let me share with you some insight so that way you don't go through this neurosis such as I have to, to, to conquer this type of work. Um, like I explained to you, you can get the, the building plans which is something I would recommend. So if you if you have a new home like me and didn't even get the plans because they fuck you over and they don't give them to you, um, you can go down to the town. You can get them. I don't know if they put them on disc or if you're going to get stuck buying them on paper. If you do have to buy them on paper, just go, just buy the small ones and bring them to a large size large one of those large size printing companies or or a place that specializes in kind of stuff and make them larger if you want to see them larger. Some people even have printers where they can do this kind of stuff. For me, it's not that serious. Uh, a zoom button is good enough for me. But what this enabled me to know is it tells me right here that this is number T24 truss. This one here is T25. So now that with that information, I says I need to get in touch with someone who is a structural engineer. Apparently, that is the person that you need a stamp on a on a revision so that way you could take that information, go down to the building department submit that, get your permit, start doing your work, and then of course the engineer will come by, or an inspector I should say, I don't know if he has to be a structural engineer to, to, to see it, as long as you go by the plans. You get your plans from the structural engineer, he comes, reviews the work, because I am doing this work, I'm not hiring someone to do this work, uh, because I'm fully capable of doing it myself, and I probably feel that I would do it better and take more care to do it, but that's me, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, you want to pay somebody you know, you can pay somebody and have to even watch my video because uh, this is really for the guy who does things himself and wants to do them right. Um, but learn from my mistakes. You, well, thankfully, I didn't make any mistakes this time around because I stopped and I thought about it and I said, you know what? Try to do it right. I was scared to death of, of just getting beaten over the head with paying structural engineers, having people come over 
giving me a big song and dance about how hard this thing is to do and how not to do it and how they would do it. You know what? I have my own ideas, my own plans. All I need is someone to just guide me and tell me what it is that I need to do, and I'll be happy to do it. So now that I know my trusses, <laughs> the next step for me logically was to call up a structural engineer. Now, of course, you call them up and you tell them what you want to get done. They say, well, I got to see the plans. I got to see this. I got to see that. I says, you know what? Let me try this. And I got some good information from somebody else um, online. I don't know where. But he says, why don't you just call a company who manufactured your, struss your trusses in your house in the first place? I said, well, doesn't that make sense? So that's exactly what I've done. Now, I didn't know who it was, but then lo and behold, when I look on the plans who built my house, you see the guy stamp. There he is. This guy and his company over in Northeast Florida had created all the trusses, all 128 for, uh, for my house. He's the guy. So I said, you know what? I'll try. I'll pick up the phone. I gave him a call. And lo and behold, he actually made my revisions, emailed them back to me within a matter of days. And he didn't charge me an abs not one single copper penny to do the work. So now, not only did I get my answer, but I actually have it in black and white with a nailing pattern, what lumber to use, tells me everything. Comply with his design, tells me what kind of saw, you know, build my box, you know, use one two by eight to fit for this, uh, plywood gusses, what type of plywood to use, two by four, what type of two by fours, um, it tells me how to do the plates, 5 8 sheathing, the whole bit, all the numbers, all the sizes, widths, areas removed, everything is to scale. I mean, this is like a joy. So now all I have to do is go ahead, go up in my attic, clean out all that insulation. Now, of course, the tricky part is making it look good, but I, right now I'm just in the construction phase. And there will be a second video to show you the before and after, which I, I hope should look perfect. I see no reason why um, it wouldn't if I take my time. But however, as you can see, here are my answers. And these people at this company are absolutely fantastic. I mean, I could not ask for better. Um, just a joy. I mean, I, I shout out to Manning Trust because these people are super. Um, so really, that's all there is to it. It's telling me, you know, this here is that scary king stud truss. It's showing me the 2 by 4 Just cut that sucker out, take my 2 by 8s put it in there, double them up, tells me the nailing pattern, where to put my gussets. Here's my other plate right there. I mean, this is wonderful. So once I go ahead, complete all this work, I mean, this thing should come out like a real honey. I mean, um, and look at what you see. I mean, this is the stuff I've been tormenting myself. You look at all this stuff about these home inspectors, roof truss problems with people who are like me. They want to do tray ceiling, ceiling modifications, truss alterations, uh, to do storage, to do uh, vaulted ceiling, raise their ceiling, tray ceilings, you know, whatever. I mean, this is what people want, you know. I wish it was like my old house where it was just a standard stick built uh, roof, but unfortunately I got stuck with this shit and, uh, <laughs> You could, you could hear it in my voice, man. I mean, what a fucking nightmare this thing was. But the, the bottom line is that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you can do it right. These are the steps that I took. Um, and um, I really hope that this helps somebody else out. I mean, if somebody else is going through what I'm going through uh, currently, um, this is the hardest part. I mean, of course, the work, you know, is the work. But however, doing things right, doing them by code, getting your permit, Having peace of mind so that way when you're in bed at night, when you've, when you've completed a job like this, if you hear a crack or a creak or, or a noise, you, don't, you can breathe easy, shut your eyes and sleep at night because there is a way to do it. Don't believe what this guy, Greg Van, says. He's full of shit. Um, and that's, that's it, man. So, you know, good luck with your, with your work. And if you, you know, take it on a project with your own trusses. But that's what I got to say. And I will make up a follow-up on this whole job so you can see the before and after photographs and um, that's it man